there's something that's been on my heart for quite some time and I wanted to take just a couple minutes and talk with you today about our attitudes as Christians. You see, the attitudes with which we live our Christian lives have deep impacts upon those that we're trying to share the gospel with, on our children, and our, our friends and neighbors. The way we speak, the way we act, can either help someone come to Christ and be faithful, or it can drive people away. In the parable of the sower, or better yet, the parable of the soils, Jesus describes four different kinds of soils. He said some seed is sown on the wayside, some among the stones, some among the thorns. And then the fourth soil is the good soil that bears fruit. And we've always understood this parable as, as our evangelistic efforts of sowing the seed everywhere and it's going to fall on different hearts and, and some of those hearts are going to bear fruit. But let me suggest that those souls have more to do with us than it does them. You see, as Christians, our soil, our hearts can be wrong. Some of us have that wayside soil in our hearts that's been calloused and trodden on and it's impenetrable. Some of us are like the stones that, that there's just rocks and hard places and you can't really get through it. Some of us are choked out by the cares of this world like the seed sown among the thorns. But every Christian should have good soil, a good heart, that is loving, that is accepting. Now that doesn't mean that we're going to compromise the truth of, of God's word or we're going to justify sin and sinful behavior. What it does mean is that we're going to have the right kind of attitude towards those in our circles of influences. We're going to have hearts that bear fruit. That's how we should live our everyday Christian life. May each one of us take just a few moments, examine our hearts, our lives, our actions, the words that we speak, and ask, are we truly doing the things, saying the things, living the lives that will help to love and encourage others to come to know the love of God?